up an XCP just as a little reminder because um, sometimes it can get tricky if you haven't used it in a while. So what you're going to look for is usually the bar, they have yellow right here and the yellow matched with the yellow plastic and that means it's a posterior XP, XCP. So I'm going to show you how to set up a posterior. So what you do is first you grab your bar in your left hand and in your right put the part that the film goes on first and this should be like one continuous line. If it's backwards like this, you're not going to be able to take a shot of the teeth. So this should be out away from the bar and one continuous line. The next part you want to do is you want to look at str straight on to the film. And when you put the circle on, you should be able to see the box of the XCP straight through the ring part. And that's going to get you a perfect shot. The next part you're going to do is you're going to put the film in to the holder and the dot of the film should put down into the clasp part just like that. Another thing you want to do is you want to make sure the white is towards the ring or towards the PID. The colored part should be touching the colored part of the holder. Sometimes over time these are plastic so they kind of get loose. One thing you can do is you can grab a bite tab and kind of stick it over and that'll just hold it in place as you take it. I'm going to show you how to place a posterior PA with the XCP. Um, the key with um, PAs is you want the film as close to the teeth as you can, but sometimes if people have um, tori, especially on the mandibular, it's in pretty much impossible. So one little trick is to put it more in the center of the mouth. So as you enter, kind of enter flat and then have the film kind of at the center on the tongue. So the next part I do is I actually put some pressure on the tongue and ha then have them bite. Open for me. Instead, this is what most people do I find and it really causes problems, is they just put it in the mouth like this and then they have them bite and the film kind of goes at an angle and it gives you weird angulation in your shot. Open for me, thank you. So instead, I like to put pressure on the tongue and have it placed exactly where I want it and then have them bite. It gives you a better shot and it's less jarring for the patient. It's not as painful. Okay, so I'm going to show you quickly how to show, place a maxillary PA. So the nice thing about this, if you just place the lower down here, it's going to be the opposite upper. So it kind of makes an X shape as you go through the face. So how you place an upper, again, you kind of want the film as close to the teeth as you can, but again, sometimes it's impossible. So I'll place it a little bit more to the midline if I have to. One thing you want to do is you want to make sure the plastic is touching the occlusal surfaces before the patient bites down. Go ahead and bite for me. That's just going to keep it in place instead of making the film go kind of crazy when they bite down. When you line up the PID, you just line it up nice and parallel with the holder the circle and that's just going to make sure you have no angulation issues when the film's developed.